Hey Vine family, we uh, want to welcome you to video number two for our series Gentle and Lowly, working through this wonderful book by Dane Ortland. Um, I want to uh, tell you if, you if you're behind, if you did not read the introduction and watch that video, if you've not read chapter one, you have plenty of time to do that. Just stop this video now, go, go read, go watch that video. These videos are going to be very short, four to five minutes at the most. It takes you five or six minutes probably 10 minutes at the most to read through these chapters. So uh, we want you to join us on this journey. Without saying anything else, uh, let's just jump right into chapter one, really one of my favorite chapters in all the book. Orland points out in this chapter uh, that if we really want to know Jesus, if we really want to know who he is, we need to know his heart. And then in one place in all of scripture, Jesus tells us about his heart. It comes from Matthew chapter 11, Verse 28 through 30. I want to read that for us very quickly. Come to me, all who labor and who are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me. For I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Um, Orland points out that Jesus gives us this glimpse at his own heart here. And then what he says, and, that, and he, he, he makes this, this uh, great statement that, that that's how we truly know someone, by looking at their heart. That's what, the heart is what drives them. The heart is what defines them. And he says, Jesus, in his one um, time when he says, hey, here's my heart, he calls himself gentle and lowly. Um, on page 19, he says, meek, humble, and gentle. Jesus is saying he's not trigger happy. He's not harsh. He's not reactionary. Um, he is the most understanding person in the universe. Um, he says the posture most natural to Jesus is not a pointed finger, but open arms. I don't know about you, but I need to hear that. I, I needed to hear that. Sometimes I feel like... Um, that Jesus is, is there uh, just looking down on me because of all the mistakes I made, all the sins that I commit in my life, uh, just, um, just the way I live. I just all, you know, sometimes you feel like you just cannot measure up, which we cannot, let's be honest. But Orland points out that, Je that Jesus says, I'm not looking down with this pointed finger. I'm actually looking at you with these open arms. The point in, in saying that he is gentle and lowly Orland points out, he's saying that Jesus is accessible. He is there for you. No one in human history has ever been more approachable than Jesus. We need to take that to heart. I don't know what you're going through right now. I don't know what's going on in your life. I don't know what you think you might have done that would, that would prevent Jesus from loving you or um, make it more difficult for you to have a relationship than it is for anyone else. But let me tell you, Jesus is there with open arms. Um, he has done the work so that you could be reconciled to him, that I could be reconciled to him. And he's there welcoming us back. Um, it is amazing as we read this um, first chapter how we get this glimpse of who Jesus is and that we learn that Jesus, yes, he is a great judge. Yes, he is perfect. Yes, he is holy. Yes, he is God in the flesh. Yes, he is the King of kings and Lord of lords. But when he describes himself he says, I'm gentle and lowly at heart. According to his own testimony, Jesus is saying he's tender, he's open, open, he's welcoming, he's accommodating, he's understanding. I don't know about you, but I need that. I need to know that. Jesus is gentle. He is lowly. Um, and, and when you put those two together, one thing that... that Orland points out is Jesus is kind. Can, I cannot begin to tell you how great the kindness is that Christ has shown me in my life. I can't begin to tell you how good he has been to me. And I don't deserve any of that. None of us do. But Jesus loves us. He has taken our place in life and in death. He has defeated sin, death, and the grave on our part, on our behalf. And he welcomes us because he's gentle and lowly in heart. He says his yoke 
is kind, Ortland says. His burden is light. Ortland points out that Jesus' yoke is a non-yoke. It's actually the opposite of a yoke. It's that light. Uh, again, I need to be reminded of this. Jesus says, I'm gentle and lowly. He welcomes me when I don't meet the qualifications to be welcomed by him. He welcomes me when my life reflects something other than a follower at times. He welcomes me when my mistakes add up. He welcomes me when my sins are too numerous to, to count. He welcomes me because his grace is greater. He welcomes me because he's gentle and lowly at heart. He welcomes me with open arms and he does the same for you. So I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know where you're at. Read this chapter. There's so much more there than we have time to go over. But Jesus is there, open arms, welcoming you because he's gentle and lowly in heart. Let's pray and let's just live in that truth today. Jesus, we thank you that you love us, that while we were yet sinners, you died for us, you took our place, and that now we... Lord, we need reminding that you are there for us, that you welcome us with arms wide open, Lord, that you, that you are gentle to us, that you are kind to us. Lord, remind us of that and then draw us closer to you and be glorified through everything that we do. Lord, we love you. We pray this in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. We'll see you next time.